What are the top insights or tips that you have for businesses who want to bring on more young people? Uh, look, I think get, just get started and start working with partners that are aligned to what, the, what business priorities are. So that's something that we did. We worked with a range of partners that could feed talent into our business, but, but talent that was actually aligned with our priorities. So that would be one key learning. Um, I think actually look at more holistic support offerings for the people that you're bringing in, whether it's pastoral care, whether it's buddy systems, whether it's training your managers. Uh, make sure that there's a more holistic offering. Don't just put them in a job and hope that they stay. Uh, and measure your results. Be prepared to actually look at your, you know, gather data, look at your results and be able to share the story. What are some of the barriers or pitfalls you've seen businesses fall into? I think I touched on it in my presentation today, but for us it's about getting the people that actually do the, do the doing uh, involved. So it's all very good and well to have a board or an executive that say this is great, let's get involved. But if you don't get the people that actually deliver the processes or the managers that have to own the hiring decision involved in that, then it then it can be a problem. In that. But actually, for us, it, 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 it connects us to our communities, um, it ensures our workforce is actually diverse and diversity is going to provide us a competitive sustainable advantage in the future and it gives us a social licence to operate.